Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't yet subscribed and you, if you like what I'm doing to keep me refreshed and going, please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can help me refresh and promote my channel. For the beam shown below with constant EI by virtual work method, determine the slope just to the left of C and the slope and deflection just to the right of C by Cassiniano's second theorem. So first, let's consider CDE. Let's solve for RD. Summation moment about C equals 0. So RD times 4 minus 20 times 6 equals 0. So RD is equal to 30 kilonewtons as shown. Then summation forces y so this means we have 10 kilonewtons downward here action reaction so we have 10 kilonewtons just to the left of c upward and considering abc summation moment about b equals zero then we have ay times six minus 30 times 10 times one this is one meter half of because the center is five meters either way then minus 10 times 4. So Ay equals 170 over 3 kilonewtons. <coughs> then summation moment about A equals 0. So R sub B times 6 plus 10 times 10 minus 30 times 10 times 5. Then we can solve RB. RB equals 700 over 3 kilonewtons. So let's apply them as shown. Then let's select our sectioning X, then X. And here going that way, going that way X. So by virtual work method, the slope just to the left of C. So let's apply positive couple, which is 1, just to the left of C, as shown here. Then considering CDE again due to that couple, so summation moment C0, so RD is zero definitely because reaction times four plus nothing equals zero so that's zero so that means zero here and zero upward considering abc summation moment b equals zero so ay times six minus one equals zero again ay times six then minus one equals 0. So that means Ay is 1 over 6. Then, of course, summation first y reaction at B would be 1 over 6 downward, as shown. So let's now apply virtual work method. Ei theta c just to the left is equal to integral from 0 to 6 of 170x minus 30 times x, x over 2 minus 15x squared. Then the moment at the section is 1 over 6 times x, or x over 6. Then in this section here, plus integral 0 to 4 of quantity 170 over 3 times 6 plus x, plus 700 over 3 times x, minus 30 times 6 plus x, times 6 plus x over 2. So that's minus 15, 6 plus x squared. Then the moment in this section considering virtual forces to the left, because this 1, 6 and 1, 6 here constitute a couple, then it is just 1, 6 times 6 or 1 dx. Another way is 1, 6 times 6 plus x, 1, 6 times quantity 6 plus x minus 1, 6 times x, so it's, it reduces to 1. So I hope you can understand the meaning of 1. 1 over 6 times quantity 6 plus x minus 1 over 6 times x. If you simplify that, that's 1. 
or simply 1 over 6 times 6 because this is a couple moment at that section. Then here, plus integral of negative 20x, then 0, there's no moment here. Then here, uh, because this is 0, so the moment in this section would also be 0, so we ignore the two integrals because the integral will be 0 for these two sections here. So the first integral using your calculator and by simplification is negative 130. This one after simplification is negative 240. So combining theta c left is equal to negative 370 over ei. Now let's have uh, Cassegliano second theorem for determining the slope just to the right and the deflection at c. So first for the slope, so I'll call that couple just to the right, apply just to the right of C. Then considering CDE, RD times 4 plus the couple, just consider the couple because the reaction due to the actual load is already 30. So let's just con determine the contribution of that couple. So RD times 4 plus copal equals 0. So that means this is negative copal over 4 or negative 0.25 of C. So therefore, the reaction here is 30 minus C over 4 or minus 0.25 C. Then by action reaction, summation forces Y, this should be 10 minus 10 minus 0.25 C downward. Then upward just to the left, 10 minus 0.25 of C. Then considering this negative 0.25 of C, then let's have AY times 6. Summation moment be AY times 6. Then AY times 6, then equals negative 0.25 of C times 4 or negative C. So that means this is uh, AY times 6 then equals negative 0.25 of C times 4 which is negative C. So negative C over 6. AY is negative C over 6. So therefore the reaction here would be 170 over 3 minus c over 6 then here summation moment a uh, reaction at b times 6 then plus negative 0.25 c times 10 which is negative 2.5 of c equals 0 so negative 0.25 of 10 c is negative 2.5c transpose of so positive 2.5c divided by 6. So RB would now be 700 over 3 plus 2.5 of 2.5c over 6 or that is 5c over 12. So to check negative c over 6 plus 5c over 12 minus 0.25c that should be 0. So these are the reactions in terms of c. So EI, theta C just to the right equals integral from 0 to 6 of quantity 170 over 3 minus C over 6 times X minus 15 X square. Then derivative of this moment equation is negative X over 6 from 0 to 6. Then in this section plus integral 0 to 4 of 170 over 3 minus c over 6, the moment arm is 6 plus x, then plus 700 over 3 plus 5c over 12, moment arm is x, then minus 30 times 6 plus x times 6 plus x over 2 or minus 15, 6 plus x quantity square, moment at this section. Then the derivative of this equation is 
negative of 6 plus x over 6, which is that. And the derivative of this term is 5x over 12 plus 5x over 12, 0 to 4. Then in this section, it is 0 because this, this it is not a function of c. It's negative 20x. The derivative is 0. But here, because this is 30 minus 0.25c, so we will consider that 0 to 4. 0 to 2 first, then 0. Then lastly, plus integral of quantity 30 minus 0.25c times x minus 20 times 2 plus x. And the derivative is negative 0.25 of x dx from 0 to 4. So prior to integration, take note that c was just invented, so actually c is 0. So integrate integral 0 to 4 of 170 over 3 times 6 plus x, then plus 700 over 3 times x minus 15 times 6 plus x quantity square, then this one, you simplify. So this one also, 170 over 3x minus 15x squared times negative x over 6. The value of this is, take note, this is 0, is 130. Then here, after simplification, is 560 over 3. This is 0, of course. Then integral of 30x minus 22 plus x, then close times negative 0.25x. 0 to 4, the value is 80 over 3. So combining 130 plus 560 over 3 plus 80 over 3, you can now compute data at C just to the right. And it is 343.33 over EI. Then for the deflection at C, we may apply it just to the left or just to the right. It doesn't matter because the deflection is the same. So it's better to apply it just to the left. So that's P. So reaction at D due to P. Reaction times 4 plus reaction times 4 then minus 20 times 6 equals 0. So the reaction is not a function of P. It is still 30. So this is 10, 10, 10 and 10 here. So due to P, due to P alone, because due to reactions, these are the values. So summation moment B equals 0, reaction at A times 6 equals P times 4. P times 4 divided by 6 is 2 thirds P. So that's why the reaction here is 170 over 3 due to actual loads plus 2 thirds of P. Then here, uh, because these are upward P and P, you meet sum up moment about A or summation versus Y. So 2 thirds of P plus P, those are all upward, 5 thirds. So the reaction at B due to P should be 5 thirds downward. So this should be 700 over 3 minus 5 thirds P. Or that is computed by summing up moment about A, considering P only. Because due to the actual loads, 700 over 3 kilonewtons already. So integrating EI delta C equals integral from 0 to 6 of 170 over 3 plus 2 thirds of P times X minus 15 X square. Then derivative is 2 thirds X DX. Then in this section, plus integral 0 to 4 of quantity 170 over 3 plus 2 thirds P times 6 plus X. Then plus 700 over 3 minus 5 thirds P times X minus 15 times 6 plus X square. Then derivative is 6, 2 thirds of 6 plus X, then minus 5 thirds X DX. Since in this section, the moment equation is not a function of P, so it will just be zero. In this section also, 30 times x minus 20 times 2 plus x, not function of p, therefore the derivative would be 0. So for delta c, it, 
these two integrals are enough. So prior to integration, take note that P doesn't exist. It's just invented, so 0. So integral of 170 over 3 times x minus 15 x squared times 2 thirds of x. The value is negative 520. Here also integral from 0 to 4 of 170 over 3 times 6 plus x because this is 0. Then plus 700 over 3 times x minus 15 6 plus x squared. Then this one you simplify. The value is negative 746.667. So combining negative 520 and negative 746.667, then delta C is equal to negative 1266.67 over EI. So that's it for this problem.